all right guys welcome back to the channel west here and today we've got some more hogwarts legacy news to cover and it seems like every day that passes hogwarts legacy is always seeming to stay in the news no matter how old the game gets or how much time passes since the launch which is super impressive for a single player game and we've got a ton of news to talk about for hogwarts legacy i'm going to talk about some new gameplay that leaked for the previous generation consoles the ps4 and the xbox one we're also going to talk about the future of the franchise and what the developers at avalanche software could be up to next so in today's video we're going to go over everything new that's come to light about the harry potter ip in the world of gaming like i said including the eighth generation console ports of hogwarts legacy we've got some potential news about a sequel and future dlc also i'm happy to announce i picked the winner for the playstation 5 giveaway i have the details in the pinned comment and stay tuned for another ps5 giveaway because i'm cooking up something pretty special for you guys that you don't want to miss so the first big piece of news that i want to go over is the fact that avalanche software themselves recently teased a future AAA project so we're going to talk about what that job listing means as well as an update to it they didn't give a title for the AAA play project we didn't get a setting or any concrete details about it but not too long ago the internet noticed that avalanche software was expanding the workforce and hiring some new developers which is not really surprising given the fact that this was a relatively small studio who just got absolutely showered with attention and revenue after the runaway success of hogwarts legacy the harry potter rpg dramatically overperformed and avalanche software are now seen as a major player in the AAA gaming scene so it totally makes sense for them to start expanding their workforce now the initial posting for avalanche software is job listing they said avalanche Avalanche Software, a division of WB Games Inc., seeks a software engineer to join our talented team working on an unannounced AAA console title. As a member of our studio's engineering team, you will collaborate with designers, artists, and other engineers to develop immersive gameplay experiences with industry leading visuals. Now, they did update this job listing after the news broke, and now it states that Avalanche Software, a division of WB Games, seeks a software engineer to join our talented team. Now, it's not been confirmed officially if WB Games will green light a sequel to Hogwarts Legacy, but with how massive this project was, it totally makes sense they will green light another game so we should expect to see some more harry potter rpgs in the future but it's not confirmed just yet now it could be that they're already working on another game that isn't tied to hogwarts legacy but rather just the overall harry potter universe but i don't think that makes sense at all you don't release a game that's as big as hogwarts legacy and not green light a sequel by the same development studio so it totally makes sense for avalanche to be the team that they put on to create the hogwarts legacy sequel now they could be able to chew bubblegum and walk at the same time so maybe they're going to be developing two games at once but i don't think that's the case for avalanche they're likely working on either dlc or hogwarts legacy 2 or just a follow-up game now a direct sequel or follow-up to hogwarts legacy is all but confirmed but what if avalanche are working on something else and another kind of harry potter game the studio is owned by wb at the end of the day so no matter what they're working on next it's very likely that it would be tied to the wizarding world but what if they're planning on adding a ton of dlc expansions to hogwarts legacy over the next few years while they work on an entirely new project maybe it's going to be another type of single player action adventure game or maybe there will be another harry potter themed rpg that has no connection to hogwarts legacy maybe the next game will have us go to other wizarding schools and instead of them recycling the same map for the next game they take the approach of going to a completely different location now i've theorized in my previous videos that the future of harry potter rpgs developed by avalanche software may not actually be a direct follow-up to hogwarts legacy but rather a new take on the formula perhaps set in a different time period altogether and maybe even tying it with the upcoming hbo max series hogwarts legacy was more or less of a self-contained story and developing a direct sequel could present a ton of difficult roadblocks when it comes to evolving the gameplay how do you make a direct sequel to hogwarts legacy without basically just making hogwarts legacy remastered with just a ton of new stuff granted it's working with games like tears of the kingdom and god of war ragnarok so i think hogwarts legacy and avalanche software could definitely make it happen for this next game but what if they did decide to go with a completely different approach with a different time period where we see a more modern day hogwarts campus with all of these surrounding areas in an entirely new light while also getting access to new gameplay possibilities like Triwizard Tournament and of course the House Cup. But what do you guys think? Do you think Avalanche's new AAA game is going to be a direct sequel to Hogwarts Legacy or do you think they're going to bring us to an entirely different time period? Now up until this point the community has been generally in agreement that Avalanche Software are likely not going to be working on any new content until after the release of the eighth generation ports for Hogwarts Legacy which are set to come out literally tomorrow. Given the insane size and scope of Hogwarts Legacy many people myself included were expecting the Xbox One and PS4 ports to be a disaster but shockingly a bunch of gameplay of the ps4 version came out recently and it actually looks really solid like almost unbelievably so i'm not exactly sure about the frame rate on the ps4 version but it looks like it's capped at 30 and obviously the textures and effects are lower quality than the base version of the game but overall the game looks really solid and it seems like the ps4 and xbox one players are going to have a really good time with this game if they're one of the ones holding out for a port ever since hogwarts legacy launched it's been seen as a poster child for what can be done if a publisher gives the developer the time and space they need to make 
a quality craft and it looks like the exact same thing happened with the eighth generation ports wb games allowed avalanche to delay the eighth gen in order to make sure that they were as good as possible and assuming the launch version of the game is just as good as the leaked gameplay floating around it seems like avalanche software have once again knocked it out of the park hogwarts legacy may be one of the most smoothest and best looking games on the ps4 that i have seen in a while so hopefully this game continues to be an example to other publishers and honestly wb themselves especially after the disaster that was gotham knights being 30 fps on the ps5 so the publishers just need to give the developers the time and resources they need to make a quality product and everyone will benefit now while the xbox one and ps4 versions of hogwarts legacy seem solid the switch version is still a giant question mark especially since it was delayed even further into the year apparently launching in late july given how weak the switch's hardware is compared to the other consoles there are a lot of switch consumers who are understandably concerned about how much of a performance nerf the game is going to endure in order to get it up and running honestly i was really concerned about the ps4 and xbox one versions of the game given the insane size and just overall scale of the game but after seeing the leaked gameplay of the ps4 version i'm much more confident in the switch port avalanche are really taking their time with every version of this game and making sure it's worth the consumer's money so even though we haven't seen anything of the switch port yet i'm confident that the game will be worth the wait a portable version of hogwarts legacy is going to sell like crazy and avalanche definitely knows that so hopefully the lower tier hardware of the console doesn't hold them back too much whenever it comes to porting the game over avalanche software has done some crazy wizardry and i mean that literally on at least the ps4 version of the game and i'm sure that given enough time they'll be able to do the same thing for the switch now the gameplay that i watched that was leaked looked really good so i'm not really sure how the xbox one versions or the xbox one s version plays but according to the leaked footage we are in for a real treat if you own a ps4 a ps4 pro or an xbox one and xbox one x as many of you probably know by now once all the ports for hogwarts legacy are released the team will likely move on to either some kind of dlc or they will officially shift their focus to whatever game they're working on next like i've said many times a dlc isn't confirmed just yet and apparently there's a chance that they're working on something that isn't even related to hogwarts legacy but with the surprise success of the base game avalanche software is still likely going to adapt especially how much revenue and attention that they've been generating with hogwarts legacy the lack of planned dlc for this game is essentially confirmed to be a result of the fact that wb games didn't expect the game to be nearly as successful as it was but now that the franchise has proven itself to have a ton of potential i think it's incredibly likely that avalanche are still going to be moved on to some kind of universe expanding project but like i said i am still expecting there to be some kind of expansion put in development for this game once the eighth generation ports are out in the wild especially since avalanche software seem to be expanding their workforce with new hires but don't be surprised if wb rather has them start working on a sequel to this game with the attempt to make a bigger franchise out of this game instead of constantly improving upon the first entry look guys i'll be honest i want dlc for this game just as much as you guys do i'd even love to have like monthly updates or even quarterly updates to add new stuff to the vivariums but i am perfectly fine with them abandoning the rest of this game so that they can start working on a brand new experience which i have a feeling will be hogwarts legacy 2. either way we know avalanche software is up to something they're hiring new engineers for their studio and usually whenever that happens it means that they're ramping up production on something whether it's just additional help for the switch port of the game or if it's something along the lines of a dlc or a sequel project that they're starting on whatever they decide to do avalanche software needs all the support that they can get from wb wb literally should just send a truckload of money or galleons whatever they got to do to ensure that that studio has all of the support that they need to deliver great experiences like hogwarts legacy 2. there's a ton of potential for harry potter to be expanded upon in the world of gaming honestly my only concern at this point is that wb is going to get a little too excited and try to rush out a bunch of new projects out of the door before the games are ready in order to capitalize on the hype hogwarts legacy was a massive success because of how much time avalanche was given to make the game as good as it possibly could be but after its insane sales numbers i'm definitely a bit worried that wb is going to want as much harry potter media on the market as possible which is obviously going to go against the original game's formula for success i'm hoping that cooler heads will prevail and we will get an epic harry potter gaming franchise that keeps the momentum of hogwarts legacy and expands upon it without losing its charm or sacrificing the care that went into its creation i just really don't want wb to see the success of hogwarts legacy and then try to rush out a bunch of live service games just to milk on the hype but be sure to let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section let me know if you're excited for the future of harry potter and gaming make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content stay tuned for the next ps5 giveaway that i will be announcing soon and until next time everybody this has been wes and i'll talk to you guys in the next video